welcome to another episode of A Day in the Life of 108 Studios. You are joining us just as we arrive in Galveston after a long drive from our home base office in San Antonio. Oh yeah, it is 12.30 in the morning. We have made it to Galveston. We have arrived to our Airbnb. Very, 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 very nice. I am so tired last 10 minutes of this drive. Ah, uh, really, yeah, you're right. The last 30 was just so fucking brutal. Had such a hard time staying up that last bit. This is really nice. Could have brought some of the team with us. <laughs> time to uh, get ready for bed. We have to be up in like six hours. You know, uh, we have like seven hours for have to set up. Tomorrow's gonna be like a nine hour work day. But we are right by the beach. I have my skateboard, I have my drone. It's gonna be legit. Uh, but anyways, we're going straight to sleep. Oh yeah, so it's the next morning. Well, I guess technically, depending on uh, same morning. Um, it is 8.40 in the morning. Melissa and I got up at like 7. So I got up at like 7 o'clock this morning. I just found out that the Moody Gardens is actually an amusement park. I had no idea. Um, <clears throat> so we are about to leave right now. Um, our activation uh, starts at 11 o'clock. And uh, we're going to be doing photo booth safari theme from 11 to 7 p.m. So, uh, or is it 11 to 6? Looking forward to it. It's gonna be a long one, but an easy one. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, stay tuned. Arriving to the Moody Gardens. <laughs> All right, we're gonna look up here, look right into the lens. I'm gonna count you down. Here we go, three, two, one. Awesome, looks amazing. Right here, three. Two, one. Hey! All right! Oh, that's good. That was so cool. There we go, next number. Today is day two of our client event in Galveston. Such a great client team that we're working with. Issa and I spent the morning getting to a lot of internal stuff with the team, uh, clients, emails, text messages, some phone calls, working on creating some tasks that needed to be delegated to respective team members to help us have more bandwidth to then really, really dive into what the company is needing right now and uh, trying to give some time and space to the team, ourselves, and the company. So, lots of processes processing right now. Yeah. <laughs> it's only two o'clock and all of our devices are already almost dead. Yeah. Like. Yeah, I forgot to put, charge the business phone. I'll charge yeah. it over there. At least the iPad's charged, but down to 29% and it's only two o'clock. Literally, I blame it a little bit on Harry Mack and his uh, OB100 uh, Deluxe. <laughs> but uh, yeah, on our way, seven minutes away from the venue. We'll be there by 219. A few more hours. I just wanna go to the beach, that's all I wanna do. I just wanna go to the beach. I just wanna ride my skateboard at the beach. On the beach? Yeah. Skateboard on the beach? Yep. Like on the actual beach? Yep. <laughs> Sidewalk's considered part of the beach. <laughs> it's man-made though. It's part of the beach. <laughs> Alas, it's happening. I get one hour. Stop. Melissa has granted me one hour of beach <laughs> do time. Do not do that. <laughs> that is not true. Three minutes. 
<laughs> <laughs> Melissa wants to work today, so. <laughs> that means I have to work too. Maury said that is a lie. <laughs> I get 30 minutes of tacos. And then I'm allowed 30 minutes of each time. Stop! They're gonna think that I literally <laughs> said that. <laughs> wow. And then I have to work for four hours. <laughs> and then I get one more hour of beach time. <laughs> so I'm excited. <laughs> Most driving us straight into the ocean, right into the seawall. Uh, I'm off the We're literally ocean. about to uh, go into the ocean. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go eat. The restaurant doesn't open for like 15 minutes, so we are gonna park nearby. Like, probably just walk right to the edge of the, you know, walk towards the sand and stuff. Wow, oh my gosh, we have to go to that. You can't take that from me today. <laughs> well, we'll also have the morning too to come hang out. At oh, the you beach. didn't bring the drone? No, I didn't bring the drone right now. Well, because I want to come back later. Okay. okay. I am coming back later. What about me? Whatever it takes. me it is calling me I've been wanting to come here for like four or five months Easy. no seriously though uh, really 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 excited I mean them waves are crashing right now they are hitting yeah that ocean though yes take me oh yeah we just had our uh, morning breakfast mr. taco in Galveston the place to go on the seawall, amazing. Combination of uh, street tacos, you get your uh, elote and vaso, you can have a bar. I'm gonna grab the FX3, get some content. It is clearly a very, very bright day. Sun is peeking out right now. Got Melissa down there, we're doing a little, she's helping me do like a, a little mini shoot of sorts, so she is. A little tiny person right there in that frame. Just getting some photos and video on the FX3, so we're kind of excited to see those photos. So we just finished uh, another interview. We are stretching and we are doing our best to get as much off of our plate as possible so that we can continue to grow the business and scale and grow and support, you know, all of these awesome people that have a passion for creative. You know, building a business is the hardest thing I think anybody can do. Solopreneur is one thing, but that has a cap, you know, and it has a strong, has a hard cap, you know, and it, it and that depends on what kind of business you're building. You know, you need a team to go to go far. That old saying, you know, to an extent, if you want to go fast, go alone. You want to go far, go together. But even, you know, you can only run so fast for so long before you just gas out and then there we are in the sprinter van passing you up. <laughs> the whole team <laughs> on the marathon. <laughs> so anyways, you know, we're going to head out to dinner. It has been a nonstop day. You know, we did have like a little you know, two hour lunch, um, totally flubbed up on uh, sunset golden hour. I did not know golden hour started at 4.30 today. So, uh, my bad, I'm sorry. So I owe Melissa a sunrise shoot. We were on the phone and in an interview and then someone else called and then, yeah. Yeah, and then we got new inquiries and we have like 10 more emails to get back to. <laughs> so it's nonstop. And we owe it to our new friend in Galveston that we said we'd go to dinner too, so. Yep, so, all right, gotta roll.
I've got, I've got Japan down. Taking them out. I've got the UK taking them out. Still working on Texas. <laughs> I will say, cerebral. You feel this tingling in the back of your head. 100%. The flavor, I cannot describe it. I prefer this over the Wagyu, the, the A Japanese A5 Wagyu. That says a lot. The emotional effects of this, incredibly powerful. The flavor of this, very powerful. Texas? <laughs> I don't know how to describe this. This is phenomenal. It almost has a venison taste to it. So good. Like, like, if beef jerky wasn't dried out. <laughs> beef jerky was <laughs> The back of my head is tingling from how amazing it is. <laughs> how amazing it is. That's all I gotta say. 10 out of 10. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Wow! Yes, exactly Okay, we might have to get one of those. Alright, let's get these s'mores. Alright, I'm ready. That's kind of cool too, though. Happy birthday to you. That actually looks okay. so freaking cool. I might actually. Oh, I could yeah, go yeah, wrong. You're good, you're good. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Do this? Okay, yeah. Actually, I'm So we're in! <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> so, we are at number 13, and we just finished our dinner. And uh, right now, we are treating ourselves to a... Uh, Monte Cristo. Melissa doesn't usually partake. She might have one little tiny puff. Um, but I'll be taking partaking in a Monte Cristo here. All right, got it cut. Front's already done. Give me the torch. Okay. Keep going. Okay. Got the torch. <laughs> I feel like Arnold. Oh. Arnold would be very happy of me. We'd be very proud. <laughs> he was my dad's dad and he's also my dad. <laughs> Alright, big shout out to everyone who's stuck around till now. We hope you enjoyed a small glimpse of our team behind the scenes. Obliterate the like button and subscribe to our channel. We have a lot of exciting content coming in the near future, so make sure to stay tuned.